Get hungry at the latest production at the Goodman Theater. Clyde's is about making a perfect sandwich and so much more. Two's got your ticket. Here's entertainment reporter Vince Girasoli. You've heard of the hero sandwich, but in this comedy, the real heroes are the folks rebuilding their lives while working in a diner for a devilish boss. Clyde's is the work of two-time Pulitzer Prize winner Lynn Nottage. In a piece not as heavy as her previous work, Nottage brings together a group of formerly incarcerated employees subject to the demonic pressures of their boss. We spoke with director Kate Wariski. Clyde's tackles some pretty heavy issues from redemption to prison life, and yet it's a comedy. So how does the playwright Lynn Nottage manage to make it all work? Yeah, Lynn has a wonderful sense of humor, and she's always looking at um, the complexities of life. And she is really a master at taking us through emotional rides of people um, dealing with real trauma and also finding the comedy in the life. There are a number of real life diners who employ people who are exiting prison and re-entering into everyday life. Um, and usually the people who run these diners are committed to helping make that transition easy. But Clyde in this play is not that type of person at all. This play really is about a, a, a fierce, abusive boss who is very difficult, who enjoys being wicked with her employees, who loves to see people suffer and put them in precarious situations. I got hungry just reading the script because a major plot point is creating the perfect sandwich. Yes. Is that a metaphor for something? Of course it is. Yes, I, I think the idea is that each character works on um, a specific ingredient, whether it's a garnish that goes for the sandwich, a special sauce, a kind of bread, and each person by the end of the play masters their skill, and together they make the perfect sandwich. And it's a metaphor for community. Humor is one of the most um, community unifying experiences that we can all have. Clyde serves up laughs, and it just might have you run into the fridge for a late night bite. It's playing at the Goodman Theater through October 9. Remember, two's got your ticket. I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.